let's start our press highlights with a look at the Herald. And it's all about the ZITF preparations intensifying. And Kenyan President Dr. William Ruto will officially open the 64th Zimbabwe International Trade Fair ZITF to be held in Ubulawayo next week. That's according to Industry and Commerce Minister Mangaliso Nlovu. Uh, ZITF runs from April 23 to 27, with President Ruto expected to officially open the premier trade fair on Friday, April 26. As the dates are for the fair approach, preparations are equally intensifying, with significant enhancements being finalized on the critical infrastructure. All right. In the Herald, still government fully behind sport recreation club system. The government has committed to increase support to the sport and recreation club system, which is now in full throttle across the country following its launch a few years ago. Officiating at the 44th anniversary of independence at um, Ohera Stadium, Murambinda B High School yesterday, President Mnangagwa said the government will be increasing support to sport and recreation across all ages nationwide. So one of the publications that are in paper stables, uh, which is out today, is the Business Weekly. And one of the top stories there is making ZIG fully convertible could lead to dollarization. So uh, Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe Governor Dr. John Mushayavanu says making ZIG fully convertible for all local transactions will result in complete dollarization of the economy as a weaker local currency cannot compete with a strong one such as the US dollar. The central bank introduced a new currency, the ZIG, on April 5th of this year. Konapo Konapo, Ipapo Ipapo Prime, DSTV Channel 294.